Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Yes, we certainly do. So I've got a little canvas panel there today. It's, um, oops, it's a 10 by 8. Just a little canvas panel. Um, not cardboard. Um, I've just come back from Tenerife, so it is bitterly cold here in Wales. It certainly is. And, um, well, before we have a look at the palette, let's have a look at the intro and see what we're going to be painting today. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So thank you very much again, as I said, for joining me in the studio on this cold, bitter day here in Wales. So um, I've only got a few colours. I only got a few colours. got ultramarine blue, some Prussian blue, a small amount of yellow and some titanium white that's it very 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 simple small selection of brushes that I normally use we don't have to have loads and loads of brushes though we do build them up over the years I have to say I've got a few hundred here <laughs> I'm using some of my medium mix in uh, that one there I've got a little bit of my homemade retarder in that you can mix the retarders and the medium mixes together you can add flow improvers to this. You can thin this down about 40%. Everything works really well together. And along with my foliage brushes, as you can see, that's the large one. Um, they're available at www.cly5art.co.uk. Pop along to the shop and pick up a bargain there. Okay, so I've got a plan today to actually do some sort of a seascape. Um, because I thought, yeah, I, I, I'm going to do a little bit of a seascape. Normally this time of year, people will tend to paint snowy scenes and things like that. And I thought, it's not, I'm not quite ready for that as yet. So I'm going to do a little seascape today. So as I get ready, I shall be back in a tick. So there we go. I was just finishing a nice cup of coffee there just to warm the cockles of the heart. <laughs> so I'm picking up a little bit of kitchen roll that's down on the base there, as you can see, I've always got a little bit of rope, a paper towel or kitchen roll, whatever you want to call it down there. Um, get a bit of my retarder just for, for now, and a little bit of my flow improver, um, sorry, medium mix. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ultramarine blue, I'm making it quite thin. There we go. So I want to I wanna try and get a, a line to come across there. This is just a guide for myself. And that's going to come down like that and we want this to come in like this there we go so we're going to do a crashing wave today and I want this as you know my paintings tend to be very very painterly and I quite like that painterly type of effect I don't like anything too perfect it really does annoy me um, when we start doing um, perfection. Um, I, I've done a lot of portraits and um, things like that and I've been, over the years, I, 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 doing pet portraits and things like that, my, my painting has been so detailed over the years that I've really, really tried to stay, stay away from that now. I, I only do that if I really have to, if it's a commission that I've got for a pet portrait or something. So I mix in a bit of titanium white with a bit of ultramarine blue. So what I do paintings like this for myself, this is just leisurely painting. Um, um, I just, just paint to relax really. So we're going to put a, a bit of white, a bit of ultramarine blue together. We're just going to put a bit of that in there like that. There we go. Just, just nice, easy brush strokes. Then a bit of that canvas colour come back on the background come through. Um, you can see I've used, used a raw sienna. I had a raw sierra and I bought a burnt umber um, with gesso there. Um, this is an old canvas that I've just found actually lying in the back of the easel down by there on the floor somewhere. And I thought, well, I just as well use it up. Why not? We've all got little bits of canvas and cardboard and all this type of stuff just hanging around, I'm sure. A little bit of pressure blue coming into play now. Just mixing a bit of that in like this, just letting it just merge like that bit more let's get a bit more in there using the edge of the brush just to get a couple of little lines flicking through there like that it's 
just changing the colour, changing that that look of the paint a bit. It's getting a little bit more Prussian blue in now as we come into this section there. Because we just want to mix the ultramarine blue now and, and the Prussian blue together. I'm going to get it a bit darker there like this. Sweeping down. One of the reasons I decided to do this today is because I've just come back from Tenerife, as I've said, and um, it was a fantastic holiday, and, and it was a winter holiday. We always go in November because of my my day job, because um, I window I, I clean windows for a living. That's what I do. I'm up and down ladders, I'm cleaning people's win dirty windows. <laughs> so, um, the summer. It's quite a busy time for myself because I've got to make the most of the weather. And there's an old saying, an old farmer saying, that you've got to make the hay while the sun shines. And that is certainly true when it comes to window cleaning. So you've got to make the most of the weather when you've got it because sometimes you can sit in the house for days without actually getting to work. And this is where my art comes into play and my YouTube comes into play because I've always got something, something to do to keep me occupied. So I'm just using this colour, just merging it together like that. I'm trying to leave the pink least roads. There we go. Just gonna leave that as it is for now. We gotta I'm going to get a little bit of yellow now over there. A little bit of yellow. I'm going to get a little bit of Prussian blue. Some white. A bit more yellow. Now what I'm looking for is, um, I'm looking for that, that type of green water effect. Uh, the ultramarine blue I got is, this ultramarine blue I got is basic. It is, the bias is slightly towards the green side, believe it or not. It's got a slightly green bias to it. You can get a red bias as well. So, so I'm just taking the paint off my brush and I'm just gonna just flick in a little bit of green here like this. This is a type of painting you can do if you plan air painting instead of like a steady painting. And you can turn these paintings, as you know, into bigger um, scale paintings. But they're quite nice to just to play with. <coughs> got a got a tickle in my throat. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to go to a slightly bigger brush. I need a drink. <coughs> just a slightly bigger brush now back into this mixture of ultramarine blue, a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of white. And I'm just bringing this on an angle like this. Think of a wave crashing. Think of a wave crashing. Dude, my throat is really... <coughs> something stuck in my throat. Think of a wave crashing like this. Trying to mix that green and that blue together like this. The waves in uh, Tenerife were wow! They were they were so vicious. They were really they were really strong. The undercurrent, the water would come in, the wave would come in like this and pull right underneath. And my stepson was out in there and he, and he said I couldn't get in. He said I got really scared and he was quite a good swimmer. And um, he got really scared, and I thought, well, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm not the best best of swimmers. Just blending up. I want a couple of little pinky marks. There we go. Just getting our colour in there like that. Just trying to build this wave up. I'm going to increase the ultramarine blue and some white now. Add a bit more white to this. Some Prussian 
blue. Prussian blue is a lovely colour. Caress the canvas with the brush. Don't try to paint. It's it's a difficult thing learning to paint because we tend to paint when we learn. We tend to paint like this, and we tend to push the bristles really hard, and we don't know why the paint isn't working for us, and we get these marks like that. But what you've got to do is make sure the the brush is moist, and then try not to use too thick a paint. I don't. Maybe you could. Um, some artists like it thick. I'm not. I'm not a, a thick painting type of paint uh, artist. Um, and then just use the edge. Just use the very tip of the brush and try and let the brush very, very gently touch the canvas. Just letting it caress like this. Letting it caress. Don't try to paint it all at once. Just enjoy. Just enjoy the painting process. Just get, get a multitude of colours in there like this. Let those pink marks just flip up like this. Don't forget we are painting and underpainting now. This is not what it's going to look like finished. Let's get a bit more of that green on our brush and try and blend that in. What we're doing is when we blend in, we need to put wet onto wet. We need to get wet paint onto wet paint. That's the best way to blend. Just get a touch of yellow. Just brighten that area up a little bit there like that. Think of the, the tones of the colour and the paint. I'm following a, a little picture I've got that I took in Tenerife. Just put that in there like that. There you go. So let's just get some white now. Up there, I haven't cleaned the brush, still got a bit of that uh, green in there. That's okay. Just get a bit of this across the top like this. Gently touching and caressing the canvas as we do this. And a bit more white. Just pulling it down like this. can do this I know you can do this you need to just practice this this type of painting is is not just about getting something to look like a wave crashing it's not about getting um, it to look like a sea you need to practice different techniques you need to practice brush strokes and and that's what it's all about really is learning how the paint moves across the canvas and and learning how the brush works with the paint that you're using. And once you master that, which takes a long time, I've been painting for 30 odd years, and you know, I know, and I, not just myself, but other artists can make things look very easy, and they're not easy. It's, it's taken, what is, what, what we can do as artists when we're teaching or showing people uh, lessons on YouTube and stuff like that. You've got to remember that when we do paintings, 
been 30 or 40 minutes we've had 20 or 30 years experience in order to do that so we draw in on all of our all our um, experience to, to get these these paintings done and when as a beginner you, you get frustrated because you can't you can't replicate what we're doing um, are you, but you will you've just got to keep practicing and that's that's the thing is it's, it's about practice and consistency and you know and, and, I, and I know this for a fact that you know I've recently started to learn to skip and things believe it or not and because of my fitness and it's not easy I thought yeah I could skip I used to skip when I was a child we used to paint when we were children but it's not always easy especially when you're trying to talk and paint at the same time that's, that's, that's not easy either is drying pretty fast because basically I've got the heater on in the, in the studio and it's causing my paint to just dry a little bit quicker than I would normally like it to dry, to dry. but it's, that's okay we learn we live and we adapt going to let that dry. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll put the hair dryer on that and um, dry that off. Now what we can do is we can get a smaller brush. Um, this is a, well this is the same one as I started the painting with actually. So I'm going to get this bit of white down because we want to make some foam and then we're just going to use a brush like that between your fingers try and use this brush like this and just try and bring in some random type of patterns acrylics you'll wonder why you ever tried using other mediums You don't have to work hard. All you've got to do is, is work smart. Let's get a few funny shapes in. No water like this. But the, the key is not to think about what you're doing is allowing the brush to to make the moves it needs to make because these are all random patterns that have got no um, really sh real shape to them they're, they're just foam patterns in the water so the more random you can be the looser you can be the more realistic it starts to look 
you bring this like little edge there. There's a little edge there. You can see that the more it's washing up and it's, it's twisting. So we get a, a script lining brush. It's a long, thin, pointy brush. And we want to get this paint as thin as is possible. And we just put a few little liners in. Like that. Gonna blend a couple in with your finger. few in as you want. We can get a little bit of Prussian blue on the tip of our brush now. Because what I want to do is just put a little bit of a little bit of shadow. Just here and there. Like this. Just to give it a little bit of as well. Let's put a few little lines in. You do as many or as few as you feel you can do if you want to add a little bit more um, foam then what we can do we can just get a little bit more white and just emphasize a few areas like that maybe so there's a big one there simple little study painting of a crashing wave. There you go. It's as easy as that. Now what I wanted to do now is go along and practice that. It's as simple as I could possibly make it. And I don't mean to, to say that it's a simple painting in any sake. It's not. It just takes a lot of practice to actually get to that stage. Give it a try. That's all I wanted to do is give it a try. If you're not happy with it, try it again and try it again. These little sample paintings are designed to teach you brush skills, um, blending techniques, um, how to work, how to manipulate the paint, how the paint works with a brush, how it works with different mediums, how it works when it's thin, how it works when it's thick. And that's all I try to do here is, is show you methods so you can go on to your artwork and become a brilliant artist. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please press the subscribe button down by there. Over there are, is another video and another link um, to my Patreon page on my website. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. And I'll see you later. Bye.